The scan is complete and the results show lots of vulnerabilities. During the scan, the issue severity gauge has given us a running count of issues as they were found. The view selector on the left of the screen lets you select the type of data to be displayed. The security issues view shows the actual issues discovered from an overview level down to individual requests responses. The Remediation Tasks view provides a to-do list of specific remediation tasks to fix the issues that were found during the scan. The Application Data view shows script parameters, interactive URLs, visited URLs, broken links, filtered URLs, comments, JavaScripts, and cookies from the Explore stage. The application tree to the right of the view selector shows all folders, URLs, and files that AppScan found in your application as a result of the scan. The results list to the right of the application tree shows relevant results for the selected node in the application tree. The detail pane Below the results list shows relevant details for the selected item in the results list. The detail pane contains three tabs, Advisory, Fix Recommendation, and Request Response. Let's take a look at a security issue, one of the pages with a cross-site scripting vulnerability. The Advisory tab shows the security risk posed by the vulnerability, possible causes of why the application is susceptible to this issue, a technical description which explains what the issue is and how AppScan tests for it, and additional references and relevant links for more information. Many advisories even have short video presentations on the individual vulnerabilities. The Fix Recommendations tab provides information on how to fix the issue. This information can be included in defect submissions to ClearQuest from AppScan and given right to the developers to help them understand the necessary fix for the vulnerability. The Request Response tab shows the original traffic and the specific tests that AppScan sent the application and its response. This can be viewed as HTML or rendered in a browser. For the test traffic, AppScan highlights in red what was injected into the HTTP request to test for the issue. This information can also be found by looking at the Difference header in the Variant Details panel on the far right side. Below the difference is the reasoning that explains why AppScan determined that there is an issue. The AB button, just under the Request Response tab, can be used to find the information within the HTTP response that triggered AppScan to determine this to be an issue. The information is highlighted in yellow. The Variant Details panel may contain different parameters that were sent to the same URL. If so, the Variant button at the upper left just below the Advisory tab can be used to navigate through the variants.
We can also see the offending response in the browser. The JavaScript ran in the browser and the dialog shows that the test was successful. Here's the error the scan received. This is because the user ID that was entered during the test was actually JavaScript colon alert 32522 instead of a real user ID. The application is not properly filtering and validating the user ID field before it is using it to query the database. At this point, we could log this defect into ClearQuest directly from AppScan. We can create a variety of reports based on the four report types available. Each type provides templates and options to customize the report to your needs. That's all there is to using Rational App Scan to scan web applications. I hope this short demonstration has shown you how easy that is. In future demos, we'll investigate submitting defects from App Scan to ClearQuest and generating reports and other more advanced features. You can try AppScan yourself by downloading a trial version from www.ibm.com slash developerworks slash downloads slash r slash appscan. Meanwhile, make sure you check out the application security space on developerworks at www.ibm.com slash developerworks slash spaces slash appsec. Cool stuff. Thanks for watching.